what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We have the all new 2019 Mazda 3. This one though is very, very unique. Not only is it featured in an all new color for 2019, this poly metal gray mica color. Second of all, this is a premier package. So it's gonna be that top level trim and it's got the red leather interior. I'm not done yet though. This one has the all wheel drive, which is all new for 2019. So let's talk a little bit about Mazda history. Mazda has been around since the 1920s, believe it or not. They actually produced cork for the world. They didn't make their first vehicle until the 1930s. It was actually a three wheeled pickup truck called the Mazda Go. Since then, Mazda has really built a name for itself especially when it came to the rotary engine. Well, because of emissions, because of other regulations and whatnot, they've had to unfortunately ditch the rotary engine, but Mazda is now etching a name in the industry for bringing this upper level quality, but not at a premium price. This car is direct competition for the Honda Civic, for uh, any kind of small compact car, the Toyota Corolla. What you'll find, not only does it have a very sexy, luxurious outside to it, but the inside has definitely raised the bar to where a lot of these other manufacturers are gonna be playing catch up. So let's go ahead, dive into the all new 2019 Mazda 3. Like I said, all wheel drive. You'll notice up front, very interesting 21st century styling. Look at what they're doing with the LED lighting, very slim, very trim. This one being the premier package has the adaptive headlights. What that means is when you turn the steering wheel, the headlights are gonna follow with the direction of the steering wheel. Great technology, really looks sharp. I like the black, the gloss black, and the absence of any fog lamp or fake vent or anything like that. It's gonna hit, the air is gonna hit very nicely and then curve around the side. As we come around the front, I love how the front of this car has a low slope to it. Almost looks like a bullet shape in a way. This gloss black open grill. There's that prominent Mazda logo hiding some safety technology behind it. More of that gloss black from one side to the other. I think it was very smart the way that they went flat black on this lower uh, lip spoiler area. I like the way it extends, but not too far and it's all integrated beautifully. When we go up onto the hood, the design that they're using at Mazda, the way that they're carving things out of clay, you can see just very simple lines on this car, even on the hood, but it gives it such a personality. Now, as we come around the side, one thing I want you to notice is there's really no straight lines. Not many cars today have that. And this car definitely is a styling standout, whether you like it or not. Beautiful gloss black wheels. I love the style. I love the design. 18 inch wheel really works well with this color. And what's great about this color, it's different than some of the other manufacturers colors that look very similar. There's actually metal flake to it. So it's not just like a flat primer color. It's got beautiful flake. I really think they hit the nail on the head with this one. As we go down the side, look at the nice touches. Gloss black, little bit of chrome trim just along the bottom. I really like the lower sill extension that comes out. And if you notice, it flares out as you go further back towards the rear wheel. That really ties in with that flat black that was at the front of the vehicle. Makes sense. Gloss black. This one does have a sunroof. Ow, roof is very hot. Just touch that and I think I burned my fingers. Coming to the rear, look at how the side window really slopes in to this very sharp, tiny quarter window. This one is a big controversial part. A lot of arm wrestling going on here, a lot of thumb wrestling. It's either you hate it or you love it. I'll tell you one thing, there's nothing else on the road like it. This rear pillar, the way there's not a straight line there, flows off the back. You have a full gloss black low roof spoiler. I'm going to zonk this. I don't like it being gloss black and I don't like the size of it. I think if they would have matched it to paint of the car, it would have looked a lot sharper and maybe just extended a little bit more. I think would really give it a great look. But out back, one thing that Mazda does so well time and time again are these tail lights. These lights look like they're off of a supercar. All LED lighting. Look at how the housings kind of extend. They're sunken in here, but they extend off the back. This one, like I said, all wheel drive system, Mazda 3. As we come across, you have a nice Mazda logo. The button to release the hatch is conveniently placed here. 
really super clean and then you have a large gloss black diffuser we guess what real exhaust pipes it's becoming a thing of rarity for cars that have real exhaust pipes so you got nice tips dual exhaust on each side balance proportion let's go ahead pop the hood and see if there's any changes for 2019. all right guys we got the hood popped on the 2019 mazda 3. we're gonna zonk the prop rod especially at this 96 degree temperatures right now extremely hot to touch the underside of this hood but underneath it should look very familiar to you that is mazda's naturally aspirated 2.5 liter inline four engine 186 horsepower 186 pound-feet of torque it's all mated through a six-speed automatic transmission you can get a manual on the new mazda 3 but there's only certain ways to do it this one has the all-wheel drive that's new for 2019. The thing is, is that there's some things that are the same, some things that are new. One thing that's changing that has a lot of people in uproar is there's no more multi-link rear suspension out back. There's instead the torsion beam axle setup, which Mazda says they've tuned the, the chassis to where you're not gonna notice the difference. Of course, here on Rady's Rise, we're gonna take this for a nice spirited drive through some twisty bends to see if that's really true. Zero to 60, 7.2 seconds it is a little slower than the front wheel drive and if you're wondering well how much weight is added because of the all-wheel drive it's 117 pounds heavier than a front wheel drive mazda 3 but why don't we go ahead fire it up and see if it still sounds the same All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Mazda 3, all new. Remember, you could have it your way, sort of like Burger King. You could get a sedan still, or you could get the hatchback. Car weighs around 3,223 pounds. If you're wondering, well, what does that equal in cost? MSRP, this fully loaded Premier with the all-wheel drive and an automatic, is MSRP around $31,000. I think you're going to be surprised though what you get. Let's go to the door panels. Right off the bat, Mazda is doing something no other car company is doing. They really raise the bar on the quality of materials. You know, you look at Toyota, they have Lexus. You look at Nissan, they have Infiniti. Mazda is just going to keep it Mazda. You have a Bose sound system, 10 speaker system, aluminum speaker cover, that wonderful red leather on the door, wonderful stitching, black leather material on the armrest. It's all soft. Look at this, comes out onto the dash. You can see how it really breaks up the definition on the dash. If it was not red, there'd be a little too much black. All new infotainment system. So let me go ahead and show you, you do have navigation. It is an 8.8 inch screen. I am gonna zonk it though, because I wish the screen would take up some of this dead space. It is not a touch screen though. You have to use a direct drive knob, which I'm twisting right now on the center console to scroll through your, through your different things. Another thing that's different is now you have a list of your different features instead of that little rainbow from the outgoing one. Some people like the rainbow, some people like the list. It's really up to you. This has all changed. I love the slim and trim AC controls. Very easy to see and read. It's dual climate. You do have heated seats, but no ventilated seats. I would like to see that. Nice silver trim though. Here's your start stop button. I'm zonking that. They should have took some of the silver and at least put it around the trim ring here. USB with a nice little cubby. If you're wondering, well, where's the cup holders? Right here, they actually moved the cup holders in front of the shifter instead of behind the shifter. Some people like it, some people don't. I do love all this leather uh, material here. It is really so nice and upscale. This is gonna control that six-speed automatic transmission. You do have a bit of gloss black, but I really don't think you're gonna be touching it that much, to be honest with you. You see this little guy right here? This is gonna put you in sport mode. Sport mode adjusts to shifts and throttle um, mapping. That's gonna actually give you a little bit more spirited drive. This is that knob I was telling you to control all the infotainment settings. If you're wondering what's this little knob, that's your volume uh, for your radio. This does have obviously Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Standard, and XM Radio where you could rewind your radio and all that live. So that's a really cool feature. Electric e-brake, all new armrest. So you have a nice large armrest. You could slide it and then have 
your uh, phone in here. You got USB and a 12 volt, but if you wanna open, you just go like that. Real nice and simple, and then it comes back. And I'm telling you right now, this material is so soft. It feels like a baby's butt. Seats, love the color, love the style, perforated in the center. Really, Mazda does a great job on the seats. And the amazing thing about Mazda is there's no upscale charge. Look at that sill panel down there that says Mazda. It lights up at night. That's LED lighting. Those are the touches you're gonna get. Probably, if I'm gonna zonk another area, it's gonna be right here. This is a fake vent that they actually have to blend in with the AC. I wish they would have done something a little bit different. Doesn't need to be a function vent, but just put something different here rather than have a fake vent. But overall, with the sunroof, plenty of headroom, feels really good, frameless rear view mirror. Come on over to the business side and I'll show you the big changes for 2019. All right guys, business end. Like I said, having full power on the seats, real easy to get it to contour the fit of your body. Love the steering wheel. Another thing is, is that this has memory settings to it so you could actually put two separate memory settings for your seat position nice touches i'm telling you plus all the safety features blind spot monitoring lane keep assist all that great stuff steering wheel mazda does a pretty good steering wheel i love just the shape of it very small horn button little bit of silver trim here and there and the radio controls are real easy to get to dash a little bit of changes some people i think are going to like it some maybe will not no longer in the center do you have a tachometer, you actually have a digital display. That's not a real analog gauge, it looks real though. Your tack is to the left, other information, coolant and fuel is to the right, but watch this. You could actually swap what's in the center there. Very, very cool. There's your lane keep assist, all the different functions. I really, really like that setup. And I'm telling you, to the naked eye, it looks like an analog gauge. I'm driving and I look down and I'm like, wow, is that really digital? It looks amazing. Let's go ahead though, see the back seats and what kind of room is back there for your passenger. All right guys, we're in the back seat on the hatchback. It's obviously gonna be a little bit different, but you know what? Even with that slow, sleek, slope back roof, lots of headroom here. The problem is, as you can see, leg room is at a premium. I did not move the seat. If you have a driver that's six feet tall and that's how they like to have their seat, this is how much room you have in the back if you are six feet tall. Now they did take some of the back out of the seat to give you a little bit more room. This seat is actually even further back. So you'd have to have a real jerk of a passenger to not move the seat up a little bit, but there really is a tight space back here. No connectivity, which I'm shocked. Not a USB, no rear AC. So that is definitely a zonk. But when it comes to quality materials, I'm telling you right now, Honda and Toyota, Definitely need to look at this because this is really nice, soft, wonderful material. We got, of course, nicely padded arm root, uh, armrest. You have your horizontal cup holders like I like to see. I guess really the biggest problem would be, you know, not being able to see, you know, a lot of blind spots from those large rear pillars. But why don't we go ahead, check out the cargo area and see how usable of a hatchback this is. All right, guys, probably one of the most important parts of any hatchback is that hatch area. Like I said, they conveniently hid the button behind the Mazda logo. You just lift it up and you know what? There's a really good amount of space, especially with this being all wheel drive. I thought you would actually lose some of the depth, but if you look here, it's actually quite deep, the amount of initial room. And then of course those seats can do the 60-40 split, which would allow you then to put longer items. But the thing that's sort of like a plus and a minus is how high this rear portion is. It's a plus because if you have a bunch of things rolling around the back and you're on a hill and you open up the hatch, they're not gonna go anywhere, but you are gonna have to pick up and then put in. But the great thing is, is because the floor is lower, you're gonna be able to put taller items in there. But one last thing I wanna point out before I say those magical words, I like the way they've added this lock button here. So you could actually lock and unlock the doors and whatnot from this button, which is very conveniently placed. But let's get to the best part. Let's take this Mazda 3 all-wheel drive for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2019 Mazda 3. Really great experience, just all the wonderful materials, the fit and finish. You got a great heads-up display. It even does that feature. When you put in reverse, it tilts the mirrors down so you, to help you go behind uh, and drive uh, in reverse. Those are touches that I've only seen on those high upscale models. Nice to see on 
this Mazda 3, comfortable as could be. These, these seats, they don't have much bolstering, but that's not the intention of this car. Um, it's meant to keep the drive comfortable and they really do an excellent job. The only thing that I wish they had were, uh, were ventilated seats. I do have it in sport mode. I'm doing about 20 miles an hour. Let me go ahead and get on the loud pedal. Six speed kicks down. So it doesn't have that crazy acceleration. And like I said, it's actually a little slower than the front wheel drive version, but it pulls very linear. And here we go through a nice little right bend. Very nice. It's very linear and it pulls all the way through. So that is the great thing because with a naturally aspirated engine, you're not waiting for boost to build or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Mazda Speed 3 would be amazing. And I think that this car proves that. To have a Mazda Speed 3 with all wheel drive, say 300 horsepower, sign me up. If you wanna add more horsepower, go for it. I'll take more horsepower as well. But great visibility out the front. Even that small back window has great visibility, but over your shoulders where those rear pillars are, there is a large blind spot, but use your mirrors. I mean, that's what the car is about. That's what driving a car. I remember I had a coach in driver's ed that he would make sure that we were using our mirrors um, and not just uh, relying on whatever, you know? So that's a nice thing to, to do and to always make sure that you're, you're checking and scanning. Over bumps, this thing soaks up bumps so nice, so smooth, and it's really quiet in here. You get a little sound from the engine, nothing too, uh, you know, loud or obnoxious, um, and nothing where it feels like it's gonna shake the car to bits. I like the placement of the infotainment system. My only problem, and Zonk is, let it fill up that whole section. It could easily be a 10 inch screen instead of the 8.8. .8. LED lighting really lights the way very nicely, even without fog lamps, which is great. Really just smooth. That sport, we have it in, so we have it in sport mode, holds that gear. So right now I'm doing about 35 and I'm at 2,500 RPM. You roll on throttle and she goes. Nice and smooth. You get good gas mileage. We're really, besides the interior components, the driving engagement is just amazing in any Mazda product, to be honest with you, especially these Mazda 3 hatchbacks. Really a lot of fun to drive. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna get to some twisty bits and really check out and see if we're gonna miss that multi-link rear suspension. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, as you can see, things have gotten a little rainy. It is summertime in Florida, but the great news is I think that this weather is going to be able to showcase the great handling ability, not only of the Mazda 3, uh, just the way it is, but also the all wheel drive system. So here we go on throttle. I'm just gonna leave it in automatic mode. Really let the car do the business. Great feedback. The feedback you get from the wheel on a Mazda is really nice. You feel nice and planted. And to be honest with you, with the wetter, uh, the wetter road conditions, having a little less horsepower is gonna be more beneficial, to be honest with you, because you're not gonna have to fight to put that power down. Brake pedal feels great. And I just love the overall experience you get in this Mazda 3, man. They really did a great job. Really handles the puddles well. Nice and smooth. I have it in sport mode still. Let me go ahead and make a right here. I'm gonna get on the brakes a little bit harder just to show you the great feedback. Transmission downshifts. Nice on throttle. Just grips, grips and goes. There comes a little right left transition that will really allow us to see how this thing handles. Look at this. Wow. She's handling good. Now I would like to do a back-to-back -back with this and a, say, 2018 Mazda 3 to really see the difference between the multi-link and the torsion 
rear end, but I think Mazda isn't fibbing when they say that they've really engineered the chassis to accommodate losing that multi-link rear suspension. Do I wish it was there? Sure. But you saw through that little twisty bit there, she still handles good. All right, guys, so driving down here in the Florida rain, no Florida sunshine right now, but I'm enjoying this Mazda 3, especially because I feel secure with the all-wheel drive. Drop, drop it down to second gear, going to this roundabout here. Look at this. Nice, look at that. That worked out great. Really, I mean, that's really where you can see the engineering, but behind the handling is that quick right-left transition. How does the car transfer the weight from one side to the other? And you saw in this Mazda 3, it does a great job. And right now, I'm not wishing it had more power. But if the road was dry, I, I would like a Mazda 3 speed through. But very smooth, very comfortable. I like the way the transmission shifts in manual mode. Glad they're not using a CVT. All right, guys, one last little rip through some twisties in this Mazda 3 with all-wheel drive, on throttle, first gear, manual shift. On the brakes, tips in nice, nice and planted. I really feel what the front end is doing and the rear end at the same time. Look at this, this is great. Third gear. Just let the revs pull me. On brakes. Nice left right transition. Who says a Mazda 3 isn't capable? <laughs> I mean, that was a, such a blast, even through that little section. I'm just slowing up because of the slower traffic, but second gear into this bend. Look at this. Who says that a Mazda 3 is incapable? Fun car to drive, and that's what I love. It's like, is this the ultimate enthusiast car? That's questionable, but you know what? It's a fun car to drive, and that's what being an enthusiast is all about. Having fun, having that experience while you're driving. All right, guys, here we go. Second gear on throttle. Third. On the brakes. Drop it down to second. Look at this. Nice. Really, really feeling that pavement. It, I'm feeling that pavement and the grip that it has. Really, really nice in this thing. Look at this. This is great. Handles really well. Really, really well. And the brakes have great feedback. And we're not talking about Brembo's or anything like that. Feels really good. This last right hand bend. Look at that. Oh my god, it just grips. But anyways, hopefully this gave you a nice little everything all in one bite. We did some nice straight line driving, but I also wanted to show the dynamics of this car, especially with the all wheel drive. I'm gonna get back to my undisclosed location and we're gonna wrap this up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one magical day with this 2019 Mazda 3. Is it a hot hatch? I'm gonna say that it needs to become that Mazda Speed 3 to be really called a hot hatch. Is it an innovative design which really rewards the driving experience? I'm gonna say yes. Definitely two thumbs up. This Mazda is wrapped in such a nice package. And I'm telling you, when you're behind the wheel, you feel like you're in some expensive vehicle. And I really think that Honda and Toyota and the other manufacturers really need to watch out because Mazda is doing some great things. Definitely want to thank Mazda for allowing me access to this press fleet vehicle and making the drive so enjoyable. They really care about the enthusiasts um, when it comes to driving din dynamics. Now, if they come out with a Mazda Speed 3, I think they'll have a lot of people lining up to buy that one, but I definitely want to thank them. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, click that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making this great content just for you on Radies Rise, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. We got the all new Zonk shirt. Got to thank 
Big Guns McGee, Tom Motion. Right now, his pores are wide open. He's dripping sweat, capped up, just pour fluids into him. Thank you, Tom. He's actually telling me to hurry up and wrap this up. Can you believe that? But thank you, Tom. I will do that for you. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.